Last month, the face of Old Forester, Jackie Zykin, stepped away from Brown Foreman to pursue other career opportunities. Since the summer of 2015, she was part of continuing to build an already impressive legacy with Brown Foreman. She helped lead the brand's innovation and premiumization strategy with releases like Old Forester 1910, bringing back President's Choice, revitalizing the barrel pick program with a 100 proof and barrel proof offering, as well as releasing a budget rye whiskey and a barrel proof rye. All that leading up to becoming the first woman in Old Forester history to have her name on the bottle as part of the 117 Distillery Series that debuted in 2021. Now, as impressive as that was, Jackie Zykin is ready to start a new project and a new legacy with Hidden Barn, a brand new partnership that is sure to get a lot of attention. Well, I have a sample right here of the first small batch, and I can't wait to try it with you guys right here on the Mash and Drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. from The Mash and Drum. Welcome back to the show. Jackie Zykin has partnered with Nate Weiniger and Matt Danker of Colorado's 5280 Whiskey Society, uh, one of the most successful bourbon aficionado groups in the country, and the Neely Family Distillery out of Sparta, Kentucky. Now, together, they have created a Hidden Barn small batch that will be available regularly and will include single barrel offerings as well. Now, before we learn a little bit more about Jackie Zykin's new project called Hidden Barn, we have a new sponsor right here on the Mash and Drum. It is Z-Biotics. Check it out. All right, guys, today's sponsor is one of those products that come along that you just can't wait to tell people about, and that is Z-Biotics, a product I've been using behind the scenes before my Wednesday night live streams where I will usually drink a good amount of whiskey. So what is it? Z-Biotics is a probiotic drink that breaks down the byproduct of alcohol, which is most responsible for rough mornings after drinking. We've all been there. When you drink, a toxic byproduct of alcohol builds up in your belly. It's that byproduct, not dehydration, that causes you to feel kind of terrible the day after drinking. Z-Biotics produces an enzyme like the one your liver uses to break down this byproduct. So not too long ago, I did six different Elijah Craig barrel proof whiskeys blind on a live stream. Uh, in preparation for not feeling like crap the next morning, I took Z-Biotics and it was a game changer. Felt great and I've been using this stuff ever since. I honestly couldn't believe how effective it was and how different and upbeat I felt the next morning after live streams. I also started using this little bottle of magic after barrel picks as well after sipping through a bunch of samples. All you do is drink one of these about an hour before you start sipping and that's it. Since then, post live streams, I feel amazing. Post barrel picks, amazing. You should still drink water like you normally do, but Z-Biotics makes it that much easier to feel better the next day. This also helps me get back into the gym early the next day, which is a huge bonus for me as well. No random plant extracts, no off the shelf ingredients, 100% money back guarantee, no sugar added, all natural, so how do you get it? You can get Z-Biotics for 15% off with my code below. I recommend getting the six pack, which is what I got. So you got a good amount. Uh, they also have a three pack and a 12 pack just to try it. It's a great deal. You'll have a couple extra to share with your friends if you want. So click the link in the description box and use code Mash and Drum at checkout or go to zbiotics.com slash Mash and Drum and get 15% off your first order. Cheers to Z-Biotics and this product. Honestly, one of the best products that has sponsored the Mash and Drum. Uh, absolutely love this stuff. Now go order some and thanks for making this happen to all you viewers. Thank you. So the name Hidden Barn comes from little black barns all across Kentucky. Barns that have been purposely painted solid black when people didn't want to be so honest about what they were doing in that barn. Now if you have been to a distillery, you've seen the old warehouses with black mold and fungus that grows on the outside towards kind of the bottom of the buildings. That fungus is known as bedonia. So, so what they would do is paint these small barns black so nobody would ever see the bedonia or that black fungus appear on the side of those barns. Even neighbors would get into the act by painting uh, their barns black so nobody would be really privy to the secret distillation that's most likely going on within those barns. All right, so the whiskey. Hidden Barn Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey's first series is comprised of distillate produced at the Neely Family Distillery. Now in the spirit of doing things the hard way, 
Master distiller Royce Neely touches every step of the process from grain to aging, personally hand collecting wild Kentucky yeast, carefully monitoring a five day fermentation using traditional Cypress fermenters and personally distilling and hand cutting the double pot distillation. All right, I'm gonna pour this. I haven't even smelled or done anything with this sample yet. So first time reactions, here we go. So the first series is called Whiskey Made the Hard Way. It was fermented using wild yeast, and as I mentioned, it's double pot distilled. It was collected at 127 proof, and then entered the barrel at 110 proof. So a little bit of a lower entry proof, uh, which is always kind of nice, especially for a younger whiskey. The seven barrels represent some of the first lots to mature on the watchful eye of Neely. After that, after the maturation, it was expertly blended by Jackie Zykin. To finish it off, the bourbon is screened for sediment and sees no additional filtration, so that's a fancy way of saying non-chill filtered. Uh, mash bill is 70% corn, 20% rye, 10% malted barley. It's between four to five years old, matured in two year season American white oak barrels. Hidden Barn Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Batch Number One is presented at an undiluted batch of 53% ABV or 106 proof and offered at a suggested retail price of 75 bucks. Now the initial offering will be available in Kentucky, Colorado, Florida, and California with more distribution expected before the end of the year. Now the amount of transparency, so when I got the press release and I was reading all the details, the amount of transparency as to what's in the bottle, I think is something I you know, would expect from Jackie Zykin and her team. She's always listened to what bourbon enthusiasts want and it'll now be interesting to try a whole new flavor profile from her outside of Brown Foreman. So let's just dive into it guys, here we go. The first thing that I got on the nose on this, which is, you guys know my favorite note in bourbon, which is butterscotch. So I think butterscotch immediately jumps to the forefront. There's a grain forward aspect to it that I could appreciate that reminds me a little bit of some of the stuff coming out of Spirits of French Lick. Um, there, uh, you know, Alan Bishop over there doing, you know, his, his motto is respect the grain and you could kind of taste it and, and you could smell it in his whiskey. And I think you get a little bit of that here. Man, there's a slight cherry note coming out of this as well. Black pepper. That butterscotch note though is hanging around and I am digging it. It also smells like it's it's very, I, I always think this is weird. Like when you smell a whiskey and you're, you're kind of like, this smells like it's gonna be creamy, but we'll see how it is on the palate. Remember, 106 proof and that's cast strength. They went in at 110. So it lost some uh, some proof, not too much though. Plus it was small batched. I love the nose, I love how butterscotch forward it is already. Yeah, a little hint of cherry there. There is, I feel like there's some more dark fruit trying to come out of this, but let's dive in, here we go. Mmm, yep. Wow. Spice and more spice. That butterscotch is still there, but man, does this pack a, a, a flavor punch. And yes, it is creamy. I, I the, immediately, it hit the front of my tongue and I got all these, I got that pop rock sparkle, baby. Just that tingliness all in the front of my palate. Gonna need another sip of that. So kind of like hidden underneath the grain, cause I do, you, you could taste the grain, you could almost taste the yeast in this. And and it's not off-putting at all. Again, reminding me of some of the stuff that, that I've tasted with Spirits of French Lick and even even some of the younger Wilderness Trail stuff. You know, back in the, you know, a few years ago. It just has like that, like that type of quality to it. But all behind that, there's a there's that cherry, there's a little bit of a raisin going on. There's the black pepper. It's got a lot of spice, it's almost savory. To, to, a, to an extent. It kind of takes you through this little bit of a, of a ride here. I just got way more citrus now, like actually like lemon peel or like a lemon iced tea on the palate. It, first, first and foremost, just forget everything you know about Brown Foreman and what Jackie did at Brown Foreman. Cause obviously that was all legendary liquid um, legendary bourbon, legendary whiskey. You can't compare. This is a completely different, completely different type of experience, both on the flavor profile and what you would expect. I think 
you know, we're all kind of maybe programmed to be like, okay, Jackie Zykin equals Brown Foreman, Old Forrester, this is what I expect in the palette. This is a completely different experience. This is not what you would expect um, if you're thinking that way. This is a whole a different approach to what I think Jackie Zykin and her team are trying to do. I'll tell you what, I like to, you know, taste grain and provenance and taste some of those, that raw materials that go into making a bourbon. As long as it's not overly bitter or overly youthful or overly hot, you know, that, it, that could tend to get to fall into a lot of traps. Whereas this is, it's giving you some of that rawness and that, and that um, making whiskey the hard way type of feel to it. It is creamy. It's probably, that's probably the most like standout thing about the whiskey. You can almost chew it. Yeah, even at 106 proof, it has a nice spice to it. It's citrusy. There's that hint of dark fruit to it, black pepper. And it's got this lingering finish that just kind of sits on your palate. It's really good. But like I'm, I'm digging this. I, I really like what I'm tasting here. I think, man, as, as Jackie, I mean, think about it. Jackie went to one of the biggest whiskey brands in the land with Brown Foreman. This huge, you know, mammoth production and uh, the, this mammoth access to different, uh, different types of whiskey streams. And now it goes down to the small batch seven. This is a seven barrel blend. So not a lot. It's not a ton of bottles of these. But to go from that to this, I think it's pretty, um, not only is it, as I'm sure it's a little bit scary uh, for her maybe at some level, but also very rewarding because now you're, you're kind of just building your own type of flavor profile. And as this stuff gets older, I think she's gonna have an absolute winner. I mean, anything she's gonna attach her name to, it's gonna be, you know people are gonna follow because she's Jackie freaking Zykin. I'll say this. Being a little bit grain forward, tasting that yeast, tasting some of the youthful characteristics in it. I don't think it's gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but for me, you know, when I judge a whiskey, especially a young whiskey, and if I'm gonna taste that rawness, if I'm gonna taste that, like I said, the provenance and the terroir and the wild yeast and everything that they did to create this, and it doesn't, like give you an off-putting flavor for such a younger whiskey. That in itself to me is extremely impressive. And this stuff I could just feel like is gonna get better and better and better. I mean, obviously as this stuff gets older, I'm excited to see what Hidden Barn comes out with next, especially as stuff opens up. You know, people probably hear Jackie Zykin, Neely family, and they think, okay, this should be available everywhere, but that's just not the case quite yet. Give it some time. The distribution is supposed to open up a little bit even by the end of the year, we're supposed to have more states that see this stuff, but I'm excited for what uh, what this has to offer right now. It's getting darker, it's getting fruitier, more of that lemon iced tea note, a little bit of a nuttiness uh, quality as well, butterscotch, it's a great whiskey. All I'm gonna say is don't go into it expecting the brown form and flavor profile, that is not what this is. This is a brand new introduction to a new whiskey flavor profile. And uh, if you guys have a chance to get Hidden Barn, definitely check it out. This is the new small batch. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm um, congrats to Jackie and cannot wait to see what comes ahead in the future. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the Master and Drum Whiskey Room as we just explored the first release from Jackie Zykin's new project called Hidden Barn, uh, this first small batch whiskey. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this yet, if any of you have been lucky enough to try it or pick up a bottle. Um, and as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. See you next time right here on The Master and Drum. Cheers, guys.